What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to the first era of our relegation league. Alright, so hopefully this episode we're going to be taking on East Carolina and Buffalo. Both teams are pretty abysmal. We, we should be okay. I just want to give you a quick recruiting update before we hop into it. Sledge, still barely with the lead there. Sanchez, it's even closer. Couple new additions here. I found Ken Miller. He's a 79 overall wide receiver. Really not much going after him. Texas is on top, like all the big schools are on top, but I'm hoping we can sneak in there and grab him. Because if we can get him, plus the 80 overall wide receiver that we're about to sign, that's, we're good. Wide receiver is good. I don't have to look at another wide receiver again. Also going after Andrew Roberts here. Nothing about any of his stats are really blowing me away. His acceleration is trash but I need a running back in that final season if we have to go five years. So grabbing a 72 overall, letting them sit on the bench for a couple of seasons, at least we'll have somebody. And plus, he's not good enough where if I find a really good running back next year that we can go after, I can still go after that guy. Number one, it still blows my mind that we have the number six overall athlete with a sizable lead, no one's going after him. I noticed this after recording, I was hoping no one else would, but you guys spotted it instantly. I've been looking at Paul Hill as a defensive player because he's got really good defensive stats. But if you look down on the bottom right corner, 90 throw power, 83 throw accuracy. This guy is the perfect blend of the two quarterbacks that I'm trying to decide between for next season. He's got the throw power that Royal has, and he's got the speed and acceleration that Allen has. So this guy will clearly, unless we need him desperately at safety, but this guy will be our quarterback starting next year. Plus, he's six foot six. Yeah, pretty impressive with this guy. I'm taking a risk this week. I'm not putting any points into Carter. We do need him, but we've got such a huge lead and I got other people I want to go after. But also, we've got so many other people who I think we should sign by the end of this week that I'm hoping it'll clear up a lot of points and I can go after some of these other guys. We're real close on Jeremy Johnson, so if I can get some points back, I'll throw them at him. And I'll also go after Terry Smith here and just hope that we can sort of solidify even the backup spots. Also, we have the kicker coming to this this week. He wants a 40-plus yard field goal. If the opportunity arises, I will attempt it. East Carolina is better overall than us, obviously, but they're on an 0-8 record. Getting promoted has not been kind to them this season. We still have an outside shot of getting promoted ourselves next year. But we're going to need some help. I think looking at the remaining schedule, we still need Boston College to lose one more game, and we need either Wake Forest or Navy to take each other out. So what I'm hoping is that Wake Forest is the one who actually loses a bunch of games so we can sneak in at number two. Navy can run the table for all I care. I just need Wake Forest to lose two more games in the conference and then also beat Boston College, and that's best case scenario. Now, this is the point of the season where they've started to announce the award finalists, and uh, Henry here is the only one that we have. He's number five for kick returner. No one else anywhere around. Maybe we have a contention for coach of the year, but even then, that's it. That's all we got. So, no award ceremony, at least. Why? I I don't know why I threw that one. That was a mistake. I kind of thought I could force that one in there, so way to start the game, Shane. Oh, come on. Alston. How are you going to blow that coverage that bad? That... He just stopped. Like, it's not like it was a hard route to defend. He was sprinting away from the guy when the ball was thrown. I don't understand. Nice little truck. All right. First positive play of the game for us. Barnes got open. Nope. No one wanted to pick up that guy, huh? That's all right. Frazier will take care of it. One defender, four offensive linemen, and they just let him go right through. Oh, Frazier got stuffed. I should have cut that in more. Coach is saying go for it. I am in agreement. No. Well, at least we got him pinned at the four. Thank oh, he stripped the ball. Alston picks it up. Okay. Well, that worked out. I do have strip ball and aggressive again. I figure it's cold. We probably have a better chance at it. And that worked out. 
And Moore's gonna take this in for a touchdown. And gets killed at the end. That's alright, shake it off, bud. Oh, and threw it out of bounds. Alright, good job, defense. Forced him to a three and out real quick. Oh, come on, Henry. Whoop, he gone. Come on, Mason, put that speed that I gave you. The Deshaun Gaddy Award winner and that speed. And just like that, we overtake the lead. I can't believe they blew the coverage that bad. Like, okay, Mason's good. He can usually dust off his man pretty quick, but there was just no safety help. 45 was just left defending all alone. Thought it was going in, it went out, and that was all she wrote. Ah, oh, we got beat again. Wheel route. Ah, oh, man. They've been marching and marching, and now all of a sudden they're getting some 10, 15 yarders on us. Um, I, I read it, I got him, and then I tackled him into the end zone. Set up the blocks, boys. Perfect. All right, and we're actually going to try and run out some of this clock just so they don't get the ball back. Not really anything to see here, just slowly marching our way down. Not taking as much time off the clock as I was hoping. Oh, that D-tackle saw it. Still got the first, at least. Nice out route to the tight end. Again, always the cheese. All right, Frazier gets set up to the goal line. We're just, we're going to drain clock here, try and take it all the way down. Ah, well, got the touchdown. We're going to take the lead. We left in about 51 seconds. Well, they went right for the Hail Mary off the bat, huh? Oh, come on. I should have switched to someone and gone after that dude. I didn't think they were going to try Hail Mary now. And I just noticed we missed the extra point. Yeah, okay. They went for another Hail Mary. I always wondered, who's calling Hail Marys this close? Oh, East Carolina. Nah, they got one pretty easily. All right, so we're heading into halftime. We only got a three-point lead. They're going to get ball to start. Defense, I need I need a stop. Oh, he drops it. Thank God. All right, defense, you just lucked into a stop on that one. Hmm, Hawthorne. Can you get open? Ooh, that was a risky throw, but it went right over 44 to head. Rankin? Yep, 44 cannot cover anybody. More than two-thirds into the game, but I finally found their weakness. And Mason just continuing to beast out. He's been kind of quiet this year, so I'm glad to see him having a good game now. Oh, 66 with an amazing pancake. That guy was about to come in and wallop me for a loss. Oh, wait, that snuck right in there. Perfect. That was the sloppiest route of all time, and then he stepped out of bounds. I put him on an out, and he just ran in a semicircle. And there we go. Frazier in for a touchdown. And that puts us up. I'm going to kick this extra point, because now I don't trust them. But then we'll start. Now we're up two scores. We'll start super simming defense. All right, the computer just forced him to a real quick three and out. I got PA smash here. I'm just going to go for the kill shot to four if I can. Yep, there it is. It looks like it's so many more yards. It's only 21. And we took out one of their defenders. Oh, I see that blitz coming. Nope. I was going to read option. That's going to get blown up all day. Take Barnes so I'm on a streak. We're actually going to hope for Frazier here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that actually went more for the PA Smash. But for some reason, PA Smash just looks better. Screens are hit and miss today. I think our best one only went for like five yards. But I'll take five. Come on. There you go. Pick him up. All right, much better. 13 yards. And that puts us over 250 passing yards on the day and everything. 
if they're going to leave Mason open in the corner. No, they're going to leave Hawthorne instead. And Frazier, another rushing touchdown. All right, they got a score, but we recovered the onside kick, so I'm just basically going to try and run this clock out. But wait on a slant just in case. Yeah, Hawthorne. Oh, actually, it could have hit Wade, too. But I just like seeing the big man get it. Actually, if we... Like, all we need is, like, four more yards. We're, it's a 44-yard field goal right here. Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a knee. We're actually pretty well lined up, but I'm just going to take a knee, let the clock drain, and we'll try and hit... It'll be about a 42-yard field goal from here, which I'm pretty sure we can make, and that'll satisfy the recruit. Told you I'd find a chance to do it. Bingo. And the recruit will be happy. Maybe we sign that kicker today. Yep, that's it. Force a turnover. Oh, we must have picked the ball off in a Hail Mary or something in the game. Frazier, player of the game. Yeah, three touchdowns but only 32 rushing yards. Now, don't blink, but as far as stats, Moore went 18 of 20 for 281 yards, one touchdown and the one pick. He only threw one other incompletion after that initial interception. Like, one other incompletion the whole game. Rushing, Frazier had, yeah, 32 for three yards, one broken tackle. Moore had 10 for 7 and a touchdown, longest of 10, so those sacks are killing us. Receiving Frazier again, 5 for 65. Hawthorne had 4 for 39, so both the tight ends getting in because Mason had 3 for 94 and a touchdown. Thornton and Lowe led the day with 5 tackles apiece. 4 TFLs from Freeman, Lowe, Fry, and Thornton. Freeman and Thornton with the 2 sacks. Peterson got that interception at the end of the game. And again, I love this. So Alston forced the fumble and recovered it. But for some reason, he doesn't get credit for a forced fumble. Only the fumble recovery. I don't understand. All right, we're going to jump forward a week. We're going to see if any of these recruits sign, and then we're going to take on Buffalo. Oh, that is such a relief to see. And we should have a couple other guys after this Buffalo game who we should wrap up to. I think out of any recruit, if we can still be in contention for him at the end of the season, in the offseason, I'll throw all my points at him. I don't care. But Boise still got a visit coming, and there's a chance that we just get blown out of the water and he commits right there. Sanchez were actually behind. I was thinking about giving up on him, but we need secondary help. Actually, I'll throw points. I'll max out Smith, and I'll throw the rest at Jeremy Johnson. And then for Werda and Terrell, hopefully I can go after them after this week. We have the number 35 class in the country. I don't know. I mean, we've only got eight prospects, but look at who we got versus everyone else in front of us. All right, Buffalo struggling this year. And we're a better overall team than them, so hopefully we should be in a lot better shape. We dominated these guys pretty well last year, so hopefully we get a repeat performance. This one looks interesting. And once again, this is Mason open across the middle. Oh, they left the middle open for more. I'll take nine yards. Oh, that blitz. Good job, guys. Frazier in open space, 19 yards. Including this. Still can't truck anyone, though. I gave Mason a couple points in his trucking, but uh, it's still pretty bad. This might be a little shallow for a four verts, but that blitz is coming, so if Fuller beats this man, I can make this a qu uh, pretty quick pass. There it goes. There you go, Fuller. Get your touchdown. I actually probably had my choice on either one of the guys on the left side of the line. Oh, laid out. Okay, boys, don't be scared of this quarterback. Okay, never mind. And down for the sack. Good. All right, Skinner. I was worried about... I'm thinking of cutting him because he's pretty slow. But he got in there unblocked. They're going for this one. Their kicker boomed that to the back of the end zone. He might have this. Oh, wow. Never mind. Not even close. Now, I know this statement has come out of my mouth quite a few times during this series. But if we can score here, we can actually start super simming right at the first quarter or beginning of the second. The best as I say this stuff, you guys already see the video link. You already know if I botched this or not. I have no idea, though. It's going to be a surprise to me, at least. That was a brilliant cut, actually. If he had, like, one or two more points of acceleration. Because, yeah, 69 got up there for a block. Or if he had just shed that tackle from 24, that could have been even longer. 
But don't worry, next episode we're playing Army and Oregon. So Army is going to triple option all over us, and then Oregon's is going to beat the living crap out of us. Woo! That blitz. I like Mason here. Oh. <laughs> More didn't. This is the first time where I've had a third and over ten, and they didn't suggest any sort of screenplay. Oh. Thank God that linebacker looked at Mason instead of watching the ball. Oh, we have Buffalo's number. I don't know why. Even the read options, we can just do whatever the hell we want right now. I think the secret sauce is I'm a fat kid. In between games, I went and heated up my food. It's sitting here, all piping hot and everything, ready to be eaten. So if I can start super simming and make this game quick, I get to eat faster. And just like that, Barnes. Oh, I hate doing it to him. Buffalo is my favorite team. I, I mean, I guess North Texas probably is now, but Buffalo will always have that special place in my heart. And a special place in my schedule. All right, unfortunately, the defense couldn't get a stop, so we just have to not screw up, it looks like. That works. It's actually kind of boring to watch when everything's just working, but, like, we're getting tackled immediately, so no real big plays. Oh, there's one. Never mind. Mason does it to him again. Second time this episode. All right, bud. We get it. You still the MVP. He's just upset because right now the Deshaun Gaddy Award would be going to Frazier, I think. Mostly because Fry can't get it. He's a senior. Sorry, Mason. I know. You good. And the defense got to stop. We got 54 seconds left and a timeout. More than enough time for us. No pun intended. All right, we have wasted too much time and not moved the ball at all. Thank you, Mason. 53-yarder. Well, why not? Nah, off the crossbar. All right, we, we didn't get to capitalize. We're still heading to halftime with a 14-point lead. More stats going to look a lot worse just because of that last drive. All right, defense getting another stop. Let's see if we can just finish this one off here. They're just leaving all these running lanes for more. Thanks, guys. Thank God 51 wanted to stay on, uh, on Frazier instead of going after me. All right, even Frazier is getting some pretty good runs in here. Oh, that was terrible. I thought for sure that... Uh, I thought he was a terrible linebacker and he wasn't going to look my freaking bad. All right, defense at least got to stop. They pinned us down at the 12. I'm going to kind of take a decent shot here. Although it looks like I'm not going to have Mason as wide open as usual. Eh, still nine yards. You know, they keep going after the running back on the read option, and Moore just gets to keep taking it. Once again, 51 just lets me have it. Yeah, they finally got onto that one. All right, no more read options for a bit, it looks like. Mason again. Those are so lethal to him. And Frazier gets that down to the goal line. We're going to keep chewing clock. And if we score a touchdown here, I'll probably just call that the game. I just wanted to get Frazier a rushing touchdown. And they keep not defending more on those. All right, that's pretty much ball game. Even if there is one other offensive series, you're probably not going to see anything. I'll probably just chew clock just to make sure the computer doesn't screw it up. Oh, one yard short of 300. That irritates me now. Easily player of the game. Four total touchdowns. Yeah, almost 300 total yards. So Moore goes 16 to 22 for 224 yards, three touchdowns, one pick, but no sacks. Balanced running attack, actually. Frazier finished with 77 yards. Moore had 75 and a touchdown. Mason, the only receiver worth talking about. He had eight catches for 136 yards and a touchdown. Although Fuller and Barnes also with touchdown catches. Defense, no one with more than four tackles. We did have five total TFLs from Smith, Skinner, Huff, Watson, and Freeman. Skinner, Freeman, and Huff all with sacks. 
Fry had two swatted passes, Skinner and Alston each with one apiece. All right, before we wrap this one up, I'm going to skip forward one more week, and we're going to see if we sign some of these recruits. Mostly because that game was pretty short. All right, perfect. We got the kicker to sign. We got Trey Ray, the junior Juco D-tackle he signed, and we got the left outside linebacker. All right, so Sledge, we're neck and neck with Boise State. That's not good. Sanchez, we're now 600 points back. We're probably going to lose out on him. Uh, I think it's probably about time we give up on him. Miller, we are catching up on. And Roberts, we caught up with him too, so that's good. All right, and I'm going to throw points at Jason Johnson here. We do need another cornerback on the roster. He's not going to be any good for us, but we I just don't want to walk on. And I am just going to give up on DeAndre Sanchez. SMU, you can have him. Good luck to you. And in exciting news, I'm just going to throw those points at a 68 overall guard that we're 885 points back of. There's only a few weeks left here. I'm really... Uh, I have some of these guys on the board. Like, I really want Miller. I really want Sledge, though. I think my preference would still be Sledge. As good as Miller is, and he's got like 92 speed, 92 excel, he's great. But I can probably find another wide receiver next season. Cornerbacks are a little harder to come by, in my opinion. And Roberts, we're just taking a flyer on him. If we don't get him, we don't get him. We're only 330 points away from an upgrade, so hopefully we can get uh, our next level of kitchen sink after this game. Go up to 600 per prospect, and hopefully that'll help us close gaps and finalize deals with these guys. And yes, I said finalizing deals, not sign them to a letter of intent. This is UMass, led to the Final Four by John Calipari, which has now been wiped from existence. We're pretty good at cheating here. But that'll finally wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. The roster is finally starting to take shape. This recruiting class looks like it's going to be solid. Wish we'd got it in year one, but I'm not going to complain about it now. So hopefully within the next couple seasons, we can win a natty. If not, just remember after year five, you get to pick from another group of schools as to who we're picking next. Hopefully that'll be coming literally by middle of May, probably. So keep that in mind. I'll keep you guys updated on everything in every off-season episode, obviously. But every thought you have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.